Hi, Caroline. Hi. What's that you've got there? A dictaphone. What is it? Come here, let me show you. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is switch the dictaphone on. If you turn it to its side, you'll see two buttons, hold and music and voice. All you need to do is turn the hold button down. Okay. And then you'll see that the light comes on and the numbers are displayed on the screen. Okay. When you're ready to make your recording, it's really easy. All you need to do is turn on the side and you'll see three buttons, record, stop and play. Right. So when you're ready to make your recording, decide where you want to record. Do you want to keep it in your hand okay. and point it to the person you're talking to? Okay. Or do you want to just keep it flat on a table or a desk? Okay. Okay, so when you're ready, you simply press the record button. You'll hear a beep and see the red light come on. Right. So we make our recording. Hi, this is Caroline. And when we're finished, we just press stop. The red light goes off and you can see on the screen we have the most recent recording, 8 of 8, and it was 11 seconds long. Excellent. If we want to hear it back immediately, we simply press play. You'll hear a beep and see the red light come on. Right. So we make our recording. Okay. Hi, this is Caroline. You can press stop at any time if you want to stop listening to your recording. Okay. Okay. It's like magic. It is like magic. Okay. So next, if you want to switch the dictaphone off, you just push the hold button up and you'll see the screen flashes with hold and then goes blank. Okay. So now that I've got it on my dictaphone, what else can I do with it? Well, next, you can put it onto your computer. Come with me. What you need to do is pull the end of the dictaphone down to reveal the USB stick. Yes. Okay. Once you have this, you can put this into your computer. Okay. Okay. So when your computer's switched on, ready to go, you can search for your device by going to Start, Programs, and then clicking on Windows Explorer. Okay. From here, you need to go to My Computer, click on that, and you'll see that there is a new device here. Yep. This is your dictaphone. Okay. If we double click, you'll see the all different files of recordings that have been stored on the dictaphone. Okay. Yours will always be the, in the first icon that appears, okay. and if you double click, your recording will be the most recent one, which is at the bottom. Okay. To listen to it, you just have to double click. You'll hear a beep and see the red light come on. Right. So we make our recording. Hi, this is Caroline. And when we're finished, we just press stop. You'll hear... Okay. Good. So from here, to take your recording off the dictaphone, you can save it onto your own USB stick. Okay. The computers have two holes for USB sticks, so you insert yours in there, next to the dictaphone, and then you'll be able to move it from here. So you'll see that on the screen, mm -hmm. your USB stick shows next to the dictaphone. Yeah. So you can simply click on your recording okay. and drag it to your USB stick. Okay. okay. So you click and hold and then move and drop. Okay. And then if we look here, if we go to the bottom. If we go to the bottom. There we have our file. Excellent. That's not the same file though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check again. Uh, I think we might have moved the wrong one by accident. Okay. Let's check. No, that's not ours. No, that's our file. The most recent number. 
So it's not necessarily the one at the bottom, but it's, they're all um, named numerically in numerical order. So always go to the one that has the most, uh, the biggest number, as it were. So this is our actual file instead. So do you want to try it with that one? Let's try it again. Okay. That was a test show. Yeah. Um, so we hold and we drag to our USB. Okay. Put it in there. Okay. So it's the so one ending in six. Okay, to the bottom and bingo, there it is. Okay. Let's check. You'll hear a beep. There we go. Excellent. So to you can remove your device from the computer. Okay. First of all, you should probably use remove software, remove hardware. Yes. Oh, we can take like that. So we click on the icon at the bottom, and we safely remove this one, mm -hmm. and we will safely remove. Oops. Okay, so now we can remove both devices from the computer. One, two. And we can put the dictaphone back together. Okay. Now, if we want to remove our recording from here before we give it back for other staff members to use, we simply switch it on again by pressing hold, see the screen light up, and you look for your most recent recording, the biggest number. You can scroll up and down, but make sure that it is yours. If you want to press play to check. You'll hear a beep. Okay. And then you simply press erase. Okay. The device will beep and you have a choice of erase or cancel. You push up and then OK in the centre button. And you'll see that your file is erased. Okay. So now we have seven of seven, not eight of eight. And then you're ready to switch your device off and return it to the correct place. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>